this is a very short video and it's a little bit um it's not the first time i've seen these things but i just want to draw your attention to people who there's a, there's a trend on um i haven't done web design for a, for a while now but a year where i've I stopped making videos anyway when i've come back to to doing it and uh, what i've seen is a lot of this business about money and uh, money, of course, is important in any line of work. Of course it is, because that's the way we live. However, to, to be good at something, you have to have a passion for it as well. And what I've found is that there's so many people talking absolute rubbish about how much you can make as a web developer, and you make thousands of pounds, and you know, you're going to be rich and all this business. No, you're not. There's, for the there will be some people that are, you know, and they usually work for the big companies. But to tell everybody or give that impression, you know, they could say, well, we didn't say that you would make that. But to give that impression that you're going to make a lot of money. It, the, to me, it's, it's one way to make a living. If you're going to work by yourself, you have to deal with clients, which is always, uh, for me anyway, personally, I find that so difficult. Um, and the other thing is, is that, um, I'm not going to mention names, but like, you can do HTML in 10 minutes, or you can do CSS in 15 minutes, and things like that. And to the uninitiated, that comes across as though you're going to be good at something within so many minutes. HTML is the easiest language to work with in web design, but it still takes, I mean, you can probably learn it in about three weeks if you, if you keep at it. But it's, it's not about how long something takes, you know, it's, a, it's about the journey, it's not about the destination. You can, I mean, it could be argued you only need about 12 tags to be able to do HTML, but of course it's to, to be proficient you need more than that but at the very basics that you could do with that but to learn css with um if anybody saw my video on sas where you know in and then there's animations and all the rest of it css in itself can take you know quite quite a short amount that could take about you know going out quite quite a lot it take you know a month but to learn the animations and stuff like that you never stop you never stop learning you, you get proficient and then when you come to programming languages if you learn JavaScript properly you you could take a long time you know and then there's the libraries and stuff like that but it's it's not it's not about that it's about you know being proficient doesn't mean that you you know it all and we're all infallible and there's things that we always learn all the time there's so much technology coming out but anyway for anybody that that doesn't know languages take coding and languages take a while to learn and it's not a quick fix so when you see these things you can make loads of money in a very short time it, it it's it's pipe dreams that's what it is and people need to be realistic and when you take on a job because like so we always like to test ourselves at first make sure you can you have the knowledge to take on that job uh, i know some people on here um, and I mean they've got letters after the name on computers and they've taken jobs on and they've asked me to to like sort of help them out well you really should know yourself where your limitations lie of course I don't mind helping people out because that's, that's where the channel's about anyway just remember that this is uh, you know whole coding business it takes time and it takes a, it can take a long time to be you know an expert in anything and so it's about not worrying about it it's about always learning always keep keeping your mind open and always remember that none of us are infallible